So give me your feedback on this one so far. We got caught filming. Yep, yeah, sorry. Wow, what do you think? So, we're good. Morning everyone, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell, videos every Tuesday and Friday, and sometimes we do Sunday videos. <laughs> if in today's video, what you'd have seen already, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, which you definitely should do because it's well exciting, um, we are having a Can-Am farm day. We have the ambassadors for Can-Am. I have my best bud as well with me, yes, who's Sandy. Carl. I have Carl here, a man on. We have the red shepherdess, Hannah Jackson. She has hair, which is red. We have Ollie as well. Ollie's farm is back there, and we have pal Danny and Tom. <laughs> Tom, bang! How, how do I not remember Tom's name? My name is Tom. <laughs> I've got two Toms here, and what we're going to do is have a great day. We're just going to have a look around the farm. I've got Hannah who's going to do some jobs with some calves. We've got Ollie who's going to load the feeder because he's mad for the machinery, so we're all going to work together and then have a drive around. And then this afternoon, we're going to have a fun day in some set aside field that I've borrowed off a neighbour who's, well, uh, frankly, <laughs> given me the option to go in there. And now we're going to go look at some cannons, which is going to be great. Wow, nice mini hats, yeah. nice body warmer. Yeah, yeah. Cannons, all cannon ready. Tell you what, this shed has never been called a showroom before. <laughs> Few people on YouTube have called it different things. We're calling it a showroom today, which is great. The cows are going to watch as well. They need feeding. Dad's on his way. Still got a little bit of grubbing, so they're going to get fed as well. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have a jolly good day. Let's go around, go to milking parlor, and then we'll go from there. Move on, calves, move up. Up, 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 up. up, up. Bonjour, je m'appelle Tom, j'arrive ici le vent, il go four, around the farm, to some cows, to go right. Oh, These guys are still living out because of the moment where the showroom is. The showroom, the minute that showroom's eating up, we finish silo, what we do is we put feed troughs in front get everything that's out and bring it in. Just at the moment, we've got enough silo to keep them out. And they come in every day just to get a good bite. Oh, hi, Hi, Heidi. Hey. 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 He says lovely things about you. Said you're uh, spot on. No, I didn't just like So over here is, we just have a eight aside swing over herring bone. It's quite well, we start at six, we're normally done for eight in the morning. Start half three, half five, done. We're on jars, possible way of doing it. I quite like it, you can see how much milk comes in. Yeah. And it does and it does, you can warm your hands yeah. on it too. Hands. Yeah, but if you milk cows, you'll know you can just warm your hands between the bag when you're well, waiting for a unit switch up. You might get kicked. Don't want to get kicked. Don't. Done. Heidi's, Heidi's great to get through. Though. She's really good at that. Before I was put in in 1967. You can apparently tell. We've updated little bits, obviously, and updated to electric and all that sort of stuff. So it's old school. It works for us. We're not going to get any new stuff because, like, for us, the farm shop's the most important thing that we're doing. I'd love to have a look around. We might have a look around later on the farm shop of how we're kind of. What we do on this farm is we are limited to the size we can grow around here. Land's well expensive. So what we do is we can't get any bigger. So what we're doing is trying to get the end product worth more. So instead of selling to the market, we'll sell direct to the consumer. So we kind of born here, raised here, sold. The only time is. Anything leaves a farm is going to the abattoir. You know, so that's how we do things. It works for us. Come this way. Come along, calves. Here come the calves. Is it meant to be in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's, that's mum. Oh. In here we have carving boxes, so everything that carves on this farm should carve in here. Sometimes we carve in down the field, but I think they're all right. We've got anywhere between these guys are probably under 14 days. That card this week, we like to leave cars with cows for a bit longer than probably normal, just because it's a bit easier. Yeah. And cars on cow really well, so she's getting all that colostrum and probably past that point now, but doing fine. Great so job. in here, guys, we have anything over 14 days and then between two months-ish. Depends if they're getting too big. So this thing now is getting too big. Heidi, straight put this out yesterday when I was messing about with can -Am. So um, she did a cracky job. What we'll do with the big ones, we'll move, put them into doubles and then um, when they get bigger, just kind of a progression to go to a next zone and then after this zone, we'll go to the next zone. I didn't name it Charles. Thank you. How can so you that's call out Because it's my middle name. It looks Aww. like me, apparently. <laughs> when I've got hair, obviously I shave my hair when we hit 100,000 subscribers. So. Did you? Yeah, I don't normally have a shaved head. <laughs> we hit 100,000 subscribers and I got, the, I got the tail clippers and we do cows. And Joe shaved my head. Charles is off, you know I was talking about that cow that's a Belgian blue. Yeah. Off her mate 132. Yeah. 131's in there, 132. So tell it, the calves look great, don't they? Yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, nice calves. Um, Charolais crosses, but obviously it's Charolais cross with a quarter of Belgian yeah. blue in it. Quarter. I mean, you could have got Canon ones, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the day. 
<sighs> Man on, to sort it out, can't you? <laughs> Purposely did that hole in the roof yep. for ventilation. Yeah. Basically, he's knocked it down. Recently, just... it's ruined so many sheds. Yeah, well, it's ruined mine. So they're into um, this next area where they become more when they're a bit bigger there. And what happens is they just get used to just being in a big group. And again, bigger ones we'll pick out. We'll chuck into there. So that's pretty much that. We'll come through here. Hello, Charlie. Good lad. Right, so obviously the shop is behind us. That used to be an old calf shed that was adapted into a shop. I think it's pretty cool. I quite like it. I think we've done a good job. We opened this in we opened this in April this year in spring. What we do is like a viewing gallery. Shop stores there. We've got a shop store there. Yeah. They can walk through the shop. We've only just put this up in the past two weeks. We're doing Santa's Grot of Christmas. Oh my God. Yeah, so a big light switch on. So we'll ha open this up. They'll just sort it out and do some tastings for the day. And, and then oh, every every weekend we'll do Santa's Grot. Because what we do is making the end product worth more, you've got to show the customer what they're seeing. Yeah. So this was great for us. So we've got the Highland cows in here when we are in here, but they're over the road. We had a few lambs at feet. So when people did come to see cows out, it was great. We had about 200 people walking down there. Cows go out into this field first and they were running about. It was really exciting. Oh. Loved it. But people come and watch the cows go Yeah, out. yeah. So we invite That's people to so come. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just trying to get everyone to see what we're doing, you know, because yeah. it's such a bad name for farming. Yeah. So we're just trying to try and be as transparent as possible. Say, like people could come up to this. is not normally here. People can come, look over there, see what we're doing. Why got this in the long way? Oh, I've got second. But we got the big bull here. Whoop. <laughs> big loot. So he's living the dream. He's got all these females. And then every few weeks, month or something, we'll just put like four freshens in and just keep him mm. entertained. It's got to lift it. Oh. Everything yeah. just proper, doesn't proper work. Farm game. <laughs> that is broken because it wasn't me. Dad smacked this with a Keenan, left the chute oh, down, and look how hard he's hit that. Oh, he did not God. realize that chute was down, so he's knocked it down and bent it. Oh, All the high yielding cattle, <coughs> they live in here in the winter. They get fed twice a day, scraped out twice a day, bedded twice a day, lime three times a week, just to try and keep infection down, try and keep mastitis down to a minimum. So I'm a fifth generation on the farmer on this farm. My granddad and my uncle bought the farm it's off their uncle or dad thomas i think their uh, granddad is thomas pemberton obviously it runs the name standard farm all names run down the same thing and then my uncle my granddad was 18 and 15 my uncle was 15 when they started doing the milk rounds right should we go see uh 15 years ago the business split across to bombardier recreational products hence the brp logo on the front of everything we produce um who knows what we produce as in other products like private jets and uh, yeah. Skidoo, Skidoo. yeah, perfect. So Skidoo and Link snowmobiles. So oh, personal. <laughs> PWC is the proper name. Personal watercraft. Oh, so Skidoo is the brand. But well done. Yeah. It's a three-wheeled trike motorcycle. Something called the Canam Spider, and we recently launched something called the Canam Riker. Um, fantastic products for for road use. But we're here today to talk about farming and machines that we use on the farm. So Canam ATVs is where it all started. So we have the 450 and the 570, as you've experienced already. Single cylinder uh, engine, 450cc. Typical farm bike, as you can see, with plenty of rack capacity, space for storage. In the back of the bike, you've got storage here. So give me your feedback on this bike so far. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great. Smooth, yeah. quick, picks up very fast. Yeah. I love the like, I know that's the thing with a lot of these Can-Ams, different keys. Yeah. You know, so you can give your worker that key and then you can have the own key so you can do what you want. And that you know is I mean? one of the things that we do differently to yeah. a lot of the other manufacturers. Yeah, yeah. So we have something called the DES key system, digitally encoded security key. So without that key, because it's programmed to the ECU, so the brain of the machine, mm -hmm. without that key, that bike won't start. You would have to go to a dealership to yeah. get them to reprogram yeah. a key, to then plug it back in and then machine will start off mm -hmm. yeah. obviously i've done some towing with it as well yeah only a small trailer okay it fine yeah no problem yeah so plenty really capable enough to do yeah what yeah you do on a daily um, the only thing is i need the bigger tires on it because okay. i just went through a wet patch yeah and obviously the trailer's a dead weight <laughs> with a calf in the back of it as well so um oh, i should have hit it more speed okay. yeah four-wheel drive's great so i definitely noticed when i put it in four-wheel drive with no trailer on it pulled through and there was less mess yeah you know it was really good i i enjoyed it quick on and off it was perfect for me because for me as a working farmer it was always jumping on and off okay. we had a cow calf in the field yeah um, of my mistake they meant to carve the card boxes <laughs> but it was great because i could get this get off it quickly grab a calf get it in the trailer right. you know yeah. instead of having Fantastic. to open doors and stuff like that so this this kind of product is perfect for my okay. situation okay rack capacities front and back industry leading 
far, far exceeds anything else on the market. So if you need to put bags of feed on here, uh, you've got the capability there. Which I've, I've done a lot. You've done a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. People on my uh, socials will see that. Well, yeah, just load this it. box. Is yeah, yeah, it's great. I just load it up. Yeah. Yeah. Something that we do uniquely to, to BRP is we have a quick release system. So if you want to take this box off, you literally twist the lever and everything pulls off really, really quickly. Great brakes on it as well. So it can go quick and it can stop quickly. <laughs> Found that out when you do have stuff in the back and you spill it out. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Sorry, sorry, I had a question from one of my subscribers. Why do you wear a helmet when it's not obligatory? So why, okay. why do you have to so wear So from an HSE and from a manufacturer standpoint, we always ask people to wear a helmet. Reason being, from an HSC point of view, is the only fatalities in the UK of being with people not wearing a helmet. The only fatalities in the UK of being with people not wearing a helmet. That says it all. Yeah. yeah. As it says on the bike, please wear a helmet, respect the age limits, but whether you're on an ATV or a cyber side, I please ask that you wear a cyber, uh, wear a helmet every single time. Thank you. The reason why cyber side and people may think why is that? Well, if you think when you're driving and you've got a passenger and you're moving around in the cab, you could smash heads together, you could hit the corner posts. Yeah. It's for your own personal safety. Sandy, oh, I am best man, one of the best buds. Um, he is here helping me today, doing a cracking job. So yeah, Thanks, I don't man. mind. You see, uh, if you want to follow his Instagram, which he does nothing on, it's this. You don't do anything on it. Yeah. You, you, you just, you just, a, you're just a general normal. Person. If you want to look at an average normal person, <laughs> just not doing a lot on Instagram, give me a follow. I'm your man. You might get a picture of the dog. Yeah, you might get a dog. <laughs> I'll just do this question then, sorry. <laughs> so what makes a can of unique? The machine is unique in the respect that the rider comfort for me is probably one of the major points. Independent rear suspension, price point, switchable four wheel drive. So yeah, I, I on a genuine thing, it's so smooth. Yeah. So that's the yeah. first thing I tried on. Yeah. So you know that track that we go, that we went up to yesterday? Yeah. That was bumpy as anything in the van, it's bumpy as anything in the tractor, yeah. it's just hard. And this you thing, you can floor it. Yeah. There's yeah. no bother, it's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. I really did enjoy it. You have a, yeah. an ATV yeah. and a yeah. track store yeah. then. Okay. The link accessory system, you can add any kind of accessories and put them in your other so vehicle, anything you know? right. with this fitment okay so they're all they're always the same distance yeah, so, apart sorry, so yeah. that fitment there oh. come and have a look is the same fitment on the back of here okay so you can swap all the accessories around oh, wow. with any of these fixtures wow what do you think beast look, yeah beast is the only way to describe yeah, it i think yeah, yeah. have you so. seen this product before no, never. okay no. we've been making side by side recreational side by side vehicles for a number of years and then we came to the market with the maverick so we do uh, various different models of Maverick, and this is the XDS. We also do a slightly wider version, which is the XRS, and they're predominantly being built for racing, North America, etc. The volume of sales of this thing is just off on another scale. Yeah, yeah. It's years ahead of the whole industry. I mean, it, it moved the industry with industry-leading power, and it's something else with the suspension. And so the 2020 the version of this is 195 yeah. horsepower yeah. across a <laughs> ploughed field, yeah. 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. Yeah. Oh wow. My God. So who wants to come and have a sit? Go on, Sam. Why don't we look at me? I've come on, have a sit. One of you guys, <laughs> one of you guys <laughs> got to go over, in. All over it. Yeah, I think I have really suited actually. Oh, it's low. I won't be able to see. I feel really powerful starting it. Hey, up. I can understand why you got so muddy now. Where are you at? Yeah. <laughs> Where you are. We're going to come back. Like, so it comes oh, yeah, standard as a It's well rock, back. But you can get screen, roof, heater. We've just launched a full stereo system that fits into the roof. Oh my God. I mean, it's a lot of money, but it is amazing what it does, the sound quality. But suspension travel, le industry leading again. Um, and again, the speed, the horsepower, everything about it is just on another level. 333,000 people work in farming in the, in the UK. It accounts for 1% of the entire working population, but it accounts for 20% of all deaths. 32 times higher than the industry average. You might think that construction is really dangerous, you are probably five or six times more likely to be killed in a farm than you are in a construction site. One of the things that we do is Farm Safety Week. We're a charity, there's only three of us. We cover the whole of the UK. And one of the things we do is Farm Safety Week. 
The other thing, um, we have education program, and that's actually going out to 41 different colleges right throughout the UK and training young farmers while they're at college. We also bring in the issue of mental health because it's a big issue in the industry and it's one we need people to talk about. Because if you're not in the right headspace, you're more dangerous than the tractor, you're more dangerous than the ATV that's not been maintained properly. So we've just had lunch, and then we've just had a talk with the Yellow, Yellow Welly Foundation as yeah. well. Farm Safety Foundation. Farm, sa yeah. farm Safety, and just talk about how, safe, how important farm safety is. Obviously, I get a lot of comments about wearing my helmet. The only fatalities in the UK of being with people not wearing a helmet. Say, so why do you wear a helmet on an ATV? Because it's not important. But the fact about helmets and all casualties? Yeah, I mean, five people last year lost their lives as a result of using ATVs. Yeah, and all of them didn't have helmets. Didn't have helmets. Didn't have helmets. So that is just shows, doesn't it? So maybe it would have been zero with just wearing a helmet. So when people do ask why I'm wearing a helmet, there's a point because I like being here. So I'm going to wear a helmet for any time I'm on an ATV and I think everyone else should do. Uh, we're going to put a description, a link in the description below with your guys' link. So if you ever want a bit of anything else, there's a big talk about mental health as well. We've chatted about before the mental health or safety, anything like that, we're going to put in the link below. And yeah, perfect. Guys. That's so. great. I and mean, when we have pages on the website that deal with ATVs and all just the week, a little bit of a checklist of yeah, what yeah, you yeah. should be doing remembering your ppa remembering your helmet checking the you know the tires and making sure it's yeah. well maintained same as you would do with your car yeah. really you know it's just for it's just for trying it's just trying a bit more just trying a little bit more it's never going to be perfect because we're on a farm especially me i'm traditional farm you'll see it around our place it's never going to be perfect but if we try a little bit more it'd be great obviously this chat we've had at lunch has been a big eye opener for me so thank you very much for coming yeah, uh, it's been definitely appreciate it absolute pleasure wonderful hot pot i have to say Good food. The best I've ever had. Mum did so well. Mom did Thank that. you doing here with the sons and uh, behind us is Hannah doing her Can-Am top yeah, tips so we've all got to think about the top be tips be that we need. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got caught filming. Yep, yeah, sorry. Turn off. Hannah's time. We're videoing this as well. Aren't we? Yo, as, um, That's a bit of B-roll. My Can-Am tip is first tip is always listen to your elders. Luckily I have my dad who works, I work with alongside really really well. So I listen to what he has to say. Sometimes it's not right, sometimes it is right. So we're gonna work together. So take, listen to him, take it with a bit of pinch and salt and try and express what you need to learn from him. Tip number two is very simple. Danger doesn't take a day off. Sounds very basic, but us on farms, the accident rate is huge. And especially what we've been talking about at lunch. Um, I think we just need to be a little bit safer. Just think just for two seconds before we do something. So danger does not take a day off. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a bit of a play. We're gonna go into the field that my neighbor has kindly let us have a bit of a play with. It's that uh, set aside over there. He's not plowing it up till spring. Winner, winner for us. He said, crack on, have a good time. We've got the Outlanders, the Tracksters, the uh, Maverick is kicking off. I think Ollie's gonna be the first one in the Maverick. Oh, it's gonna be great. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you that future. That future. That future. That future. <laughs> Ceremony. Uh. Let's go. Look around us, there ain't no fences, just bridges to the ears of the listeners. On deck, take a swing, shopping senses, looking for a weakness in the system. Finally, it's you and me, here shaking like a tambourine. We in this finally, both sides of the cemetery. Attention, people, y'all get ready. This is for everybody. Yo, 
y'all get ready, this is for everybody. Try to catch up, we are here. Let me introduce to you. Try to catch up, we are here. Now you should hear. I'm wet all the way to be on the crackers. Oh. It was very nice to be with you. Thank you very much for your participation and your engagement. And uh, see you soon. See you at the Lama Show. Yeah. Uh, to pick up the lucky the winner. Show. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, Tom. Awesome that is the end of the video. Hopefully, we got lots filmed. Sandy, my mate, has been such a big help today. We've had such a good time uh, ragging it around in the knees in this afternoon. We couldn't go on the farm track because we were just chatting, having a great time with everyone. Obviously, we've met Ollie for the first time. We've met the shepherdess with red hair. She's been great as well. And everyone has been amazing. Canam have been incredible. Look at these flags. They're getting on, dad's feeding some cows as well. I am soaked all the way into my boxes. I don't know what my face looks like. I probably looks really, really good because everyone knows my face looks great. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you get your TP merch at hemsfarmshop.co.uk slash TP merch. I forgot where it is because everyone's watching me. Had a great time. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah. Danger. <laughs> Danger. <laughs>